one of the ways that I tend to think about paraanthropology is if you think about parapsychology, um, it's a discipline that deals with phenomena that are not fully explained by the mainstream uh, laws of, well, the mainstream explanatory models of psychology. Okay, so we're dealing with things like, you know, telepathy and psi and things, which mainstream materialist psychology says can't exist, but then the data seems to suggest that it does. So with anthropology, what we're interested in, or with paranthropology rather, what we're interested in is phenomena that the dominant um, models, the dominant explanatory frameworks of anthropology um, are not able to, to fully explain. So, <clears throat> sorry, the dominant models that we've got are things like um, social functionalism and uh, biomedical reductionism and all of these kinds of things. These are the, like, the cognitive approach again. These are the, the dominant explanatory frameworks that are used in anthropology. But then when we come to analyze things like spirit mediumship or different kinds of um, parent, you know, paranormal phenomena, we find that those explanatory frameworks don't really work. They don't match the data and they don't really tell us anything about what's going on. So that's where, where I think paranthropology is. It's a, it's a dealing with phenomena that anthropology, mainstream anthropology, doesn't really have an adequate explanation for. 